In this video, we're gonna take a look at color management, trying to capture both consistent and natural looking colors that match those that we saw with our own eyes at the moment we press the shutter button. This video is kindly sponsored by Data Color and is in two parts. In this first part, we're gonna look at what we can do at the stage of image capture using a color card like this spider checker to give us a consistent color management workflow. And in part two, we're gonna take a look at monitor calibration. Color Checker works as a combination of both hardware and software that once set up will speed up your post-processing workflow. So I'm using the Spider X Capture Pro Kit, which comes in this handy carry case, the contents of which are available individually. Inside the box, we have a Spider Checker, which is a 48 panel color chart, ideal for assisting with color management, the Spider X Elite, which is for calibrated monitors, the Spider Cube is great for balancing white balance and exposure levels, and finally, the Spider Lens Cow is a handy tool for calibrating cameras and lenses for sharper images and spot on focusing. For this video, I've been using the Spider Checker now, as well as featuring 48 individual color panels, you can also turn the card over to reveal gray cards. The Checker is also available as a 24 color version, which also features gray cards on the reverse. Now Data Color have kindly given me two extra Spider Checker 24 units to give away to two lucky viewers in a free to enter competition. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out how you could win. Now using the Spider Checker is actually incredibly easy. All you've got to do is take a reference photo of the Spider Checker under the same light as you're going to be photographing your subject. So last week I had the opportunity to photograph the beautiful Georgia. We also had the loan of a stunning 1960s Volkswagen Combi, courtesy of Combi Frolics here in Brisbane. I was shooting mostly using the Nikon Z6 in the afternoon light, and of course used the spider checker throughout the afternoon as the sun began to set and we moved into the golden hour. So the next step is done in post-processing using Spider Checker software to create a custom profile. So let's now jump into Lightroom so I can show you how it's done. So I've imported some images into Lightroom and here's the image I'm looking for which is of Georgia holding the Spider Checker. So I'm going to open the image in the develop module in Lightroom and I'm going to crop the image using the crop tool. Make sure it's unlocked. Drag the corner down and the same with the opposite corner and hit return to crop. So this is the 48 panel spider checker and the first thing I'm going to do is to check the white balance. So all I need to do is select the white balance selector just here and move it over to the panel E2 and click on the mouse and it will automatically adjust the white balance. Now if I use the backslash button on the keyboard I can show you the before and after. So already a big improvement and that's really quick and easy. So next I want to look at the tonal range. So I'm going to start by hovering over the white panel. This is panel E1 and you will see a percentage number appearing below the histogram. And we want this to be between 90 and around 96%. At the moment it's at 97.8%. So I'm going to reduce this by using the exposure slider. Move it to the left a touch. Just needs a little bit more. And uh, yep, okay, at 95.9%, I'm happy with that. I'm now gonna hover over the black panel, which is E6, and again, checking the reading below the histogram, and we have a reading of uh, around nine to 9.6%. And I wanna bring this down to just 4%. So using the black slider, again, dragging to the left to reduce. Of course, sometimes you will need to increase these values, of course. Um, checking again, um, I'm at 8.4%. A little bit more adjustment, again, 6.2%. 7.2%, 7.3%, 7.4%, 7.5%, 7.6%, 7.7%, 7.8%, 7.9%, 7.10%, 7.11%, 7.12%, 7.13%, 7.14%, 7.15%, 7
And after a bit more fiddling, I'm now at 4.4%, which for me is close enough. And once again, using the backslash shortcut, it's good to compare the before and after. So next, I'm going to open the image within SpiderChecker's own software that I downloaded earlier using the code supplied. So next, I'm going to open the image within SpiderChecker's very own software that I downloaded earlier using the code supplied. I go up to photo, select edit in, and from the drop down, choose spider checker. Click on edit, and all I have to do is wait a moment for the software to open. And once the program opens, you will see a series of small squares or color palettes, if you like, which are arranged to match the colors on the card. So all you need to do is move this around until each of the colors sit in the middle of the matching squares on the spider checker. Now, depending on the size of your image, it may not line up straight away. So all you need to do is grab the blue tabs to resize. Now this can be a bit fiddly and I just spotted a shadow on the lime green square that I want to try and avoid. So a bit more adjustment and that should do it. Next, I'm choosing color metric for my mode. I select save calibration, which I can now name however I wish. I'm going to go with uh, Georgia as that was the name of the model featured in the images. Hit OK and the software confirms my calibration has been saved and also reminds me that I need to restart Lightroom for it to recognize the new file it's just created. So I close Lightroom and a few moments later, reopen Lightroom and now we're able to go over to the preset folder on the left panel and if I click on the preset the calibration will be applied. Now in the case of this image the difference is fairly subtle it has to be said so if I zoom in you will see the biggest change in the vibrant colors. Watch the pink, yellow and red squares. Now whilst these changes may appear subtle, if you are photographing products like clothing for example where colour has to be spot on, this can be a real game changer. So here's an original file from my shot with Georgia. This was taken with the Nikon Z6 and if we apply the preset you'll see a shift in the warmth of the image. And here's the final edit. And again with this second image we see a warm yellow cast but if we apply the preset we get a more natural look. So the spider checker is a very easy and efficient way to help us manage our colours. Very popular with portrait, fashion, wedding and product photographers. Now equally important is making sure that your monitor is correctly calibrated. So we're going to take a look at that in part two. That's the follow on video to this one. For your chance to win a Spider Checker 24 color card courtesy of Data Color, visit the competition page on the Photo Genius website. Link below this video. Now make sure you look out for part two where I show you how I use the Spider X Elite to calibrate not just my studio monitors but also my laptop. I want to say a big thank you to Data Color for making this video possible and a big thank you to you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel and down below you can leave your comments, suggestions and questions. I'll see you next time. See ya, bye.